Hi, welcome back. My name is Emmy, and I am a professional hairstylist, a coffee lover, and a beauty enthusiast. And today we're gonna get ready together, but we're gonna be inspired by apples. So it's fall time and everyone is all about the pumpkin spice. And like, I'm right there with you, not gonna lie. I'm all about it this year. Normally I'm not because of reasons, uh, but this year, <laughs> yes please but in my deep deep core i'm an apple like i love an apple i love fresh apples give me apples with cheese give me apple sauce give me apple cider give me apple pie give me apple crumble like <sighs> spiced apple love it love it so much so let's do my makeup inspired by spiced apple Starting with my base, which is not like actively apple, you know, inspired, but we're going pretty glowy. Feeling, I could feel the glow, you know? So I'm gonna take my Auric Glow Lust. I have the shade Selenite and my Revolution Beauty Dewy Skin Tint and mix those. And we're gonna just pop them on the face. base pretty glowy but not you know like oily or anything i love it goodness oh my gosh let's conceal a little bit i'm taking my rare beauty concealer very beloved i have the shade 230n i'll just brighten up the center of the base there So I feel like this look is gonna land a little bit monochrome, maybe a pop of color, we'll see where we land. But I wanna make sure I really kinda sculpt the face and really don't fall into um, like very flat faced, you know? Yes, this is feeling like a really good start. So the sculpt right here, I think, is gonna be key. I just have a feeling, yeah. So this little guy is kind of what started it all. This is the Elf Duo, something duo, but it is in the shade Spiced Apple. And I felt pretty hard and fast for this guy, and it's been a go-to for you know, like just a plain eyeshadow look, a full monochrome face. We're not gonna keep it quite this simple today, but this is gonna be our starting point. So I'm gonna take the matte in the crease of my eye with a fluffy brush. To start things off, you know. So when we're talking apple, I mean, yes, the fruit, like in and of itself, it's beautiful. Like the outside of an apple comes in so many colors. Like we could go Granny Smith with like a bright green, you know? We could go uh, Red Delicious with really bright red. And we might, we might land there, we'll see. But I'm thinking, you know, like the golden kind of color is what comes to mind. Um, and all those other colors can come into play and add depth to this look and we can very much be inspired by all parts of the apple and everything. But I'm thinking like mold cider, you know, like that deep, deep, like not quite caramel, but brighter. Like that's what I'm thinking of, you know? And then we have like sparkling cider, which is like golden and bright and kind of almost yellow. <sighs> it's so pretty. I love everything apple. Um, and I guess, you know, caramel could play into this, definitely. You know, we get into, you know, like apple pie and if you look at like apple, like it's very caramely looking with all the spices in there and stuff. I'm hungry, sorry. This, I knew this was gonna happen because this is like one of my favorite food categories. 
is apple. <laughs> yeah. From there, let's add some depth. So I'm gonna do my brown liner in my waterline and I'll be right back. I'm also gonna take some and smudge it on the outside corner on the lower. I already know what I'm gonna do on my lower lash line and I know that I want this depth. So while we have this pencil going. Okay, this is gonna be the star of the show. This is JD Glow Moscato. And is this not the perfectly like warm, pinky, champagne-y kind of color? Gorgeous. So we're gonna just kind of sweep this on the eye. I might take JD Glow Rich, which is just like a true gold. I might take this more on the inner corner. So I'm gonna leave the inner corner not totally filled in with Moscato. Oh yeah. Oh yes, please. Now we're taking Rich on the same brush, but more on the inner corner. Ooh, pretty. Oh my gosh. I can't, I have no words as I'm applying this because it's just beautiful. I feel like we can make it a little deeper. So we're gonna take Violette FR. This is the shade. It's in French. I give up on saying this. It's the orange sparkly one. <laughs> I can't speak French. I'm not gonna try. I, I can't do it. I'm still using the same brush because this is just the perfect little shape for what we're needing. I am gonna take it off the doe foot with the brush. This is highly pigmented and you gotta work one eye at a time. I also have never applied this over another shadow. So we'll see how the, that goes. Yeah. Oh, it's working. Oh, it's working. Oh my gosh, what? Okay, so now the brush is dry and I'm bringing all the way around. Oh, what? I have green on my forehead. So I need some density in the brush to blend out the edges of this because I need to be able to kind of apply pressure. Oh my gosh, you guys, I can't even handle this. Whoa. Whoa. Let's do the other eye. I'll be right back. I can't with this. It is so beautiful. I feel like this the footage isn't even gonna capture it well enough. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna add a very, very thin black line to the outer corner of my top lash line. So I feel like <laughs> the top lid got a little dramatic for me, which I'm loving, but I feel like we need to kind of tie it in with the bottom. And like I said, I kind of already know what I wanna do with the bottom lash line. So let's get into it. This is a Fenty eyeliner, which is a pencil clicky up eyeliner, but is it is in the shade Puppy Eyes with a, with a Z. It'll be in the description box. But this is the simplest, easiest, smoky, but not dark under eye. It is true perfection. Totally perfect, totally perfect. Adding some mascara, my 1999 Beauty Lash Tint Mascara, which is perfect. And I do have a lash lift, so my lashes are very, very curled right now. Thank you. 
I can't handle how well that eye turned out. Oh my goodness, it's stunning. Cheeks, all right, so we still have our sculpt in there. So we're gonna go back to our Spiced Apple Duo and do the matte first on the cheeks. Depending on you know how much glow from my base is coming through, we might not even touch the shimmer in the duo. It is a very, very pretty shimmer. Uh, sometimes I will mix it with the blush and just like apply them both at the same time. And then, I mean, when I'm doing just this for my whole look, I'll take the matte in the crease and then the shimmer on the lid and it is the easiest thing ever. I also do that with my um, Cover FX monochromatic duos. They are similar. This is definitely not a dupe for them, but similar idea. So I feel like we could kind of brighten this up a little bit with some kind of red delicious vibe, you know? Uh, so this is the North Face Glass Skin cream blush. This is the shade Sweet. It seems very scary. Do not fear. We will take a light hand. Just that much. And I want it right here on the cheek. You know, I want it, I want it to look like I was running through an orchard picking apples. Yeah that's, yeah, that's my dream. Yeah, that's my fantasy self. <sighs> that is exactly what I wanted it to do. Very happy with how that cheek turned out. Goodness, all right, let's move on to lips. All right, so I feel like we can go a couple different ways. Again, this landed a little more bold than I was kind of anticipating. So I'm thinking we'll go nude, but let's try a bit of, let's try a bit of red first. Yes. So I have these two. This is the sugar, fresh sugar icon, sugar icon. Yeah. Sugar icon. This is, you know, SPF 15. It's a, it's a lip balm, but this is like the most beautiful, easy, effortless red ever. Um, and it's very much a classic red. This is the PYT lipstick in the shade Rorange, which is clearly a red orange. Clever, I know. Uh, so I'm gonna tap in Rorange. Yeah. Yeah, just like a baseline stain. And then let's take the fresh icon to the center. So I would maybe wear this lip combo when just wearing this on the eyes and the cheeks. So something super simple on the face, but bold on the lips. With this look, I definitely wanna take it more toned down. So let's remove this. So a more neutral lip combo for me is gonna be my Aveda lip pencil in the shade Chestnut, which is very much a deep nude for me. So lip liner a little bit overlined and kind of filled in a li little bit. And then let's take Fit Glow Lip Serum in the shade Root. This is from the favorites kit that State of Kate did with Fit Glow and I have been in love with everything from the kit. So this is the deepest shade in the kit. 
but still somehow very wearable. And I think Kate describes it as like sultry and I very much agree with that. So yeah, that's, that's the lip with this look, totally. Yes, 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 love it. Well, now I wish I was drinking cider and not coffee, but there will be a time, I'm sure. And here is my apple everything <laughs> inspired look. Food brings me so much joy. Festive food, seasonal food brings me extra joy. So it's something that's really happy for me. Uh, if there's anything, any other like, uh, you know, inspiration you would like to see, let me know. I have a couple other ideas as we head into the holiday season. Uh, but yeah, until next time, enjoy.